Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about reverse engineering in geometry problems. Suppose we have a triangle ABC and there is a point D on the side AB. We want to find a point X on BC such that the two triangles DXA and CXA have equal area. We want to find such a point X. Remember D is given. We want to find X. How do we do it? Well, we will reverse engineer it in the sense, let's assume that we have already found X. Join DC and let's draw perpendiculars from D and C on AX. Suppose this perpendicular lines meet AX at E and F. So we have these two perpendicular segments that we have marked in bold and in color. Let's mark M, which is the intersection point of BC with AX. We will be comparing the triangles DEM and CFM. Let's see how we can do that. Firstly, we notice that DE is equal to CF. This is true because the area of the triangle XAC and the triangle XAD are equal. Can you give me a rigorous argument why DE is equal to CF from the fact that the two triangles have equal area? You can put a comment in the description. We also know that the angle DEM is equal to the angle CFM because both are 90 degrees by construction. Finally, DE is parallel to CF. DE is parallel to CF. Can you tell me why? Since DE is parallel to CF, angle EDM will be equal to angle MCF. Okay, now the two triangles are congruent by ASA congruency. The triangle DEM and the triangle CFM. So clearly M is the midpoint of DC. Now we have found the reverse engineering process completely. What we will do now is the following. So to reverse engineer the position of X, let's join DC and let's mark the midpoint M of DC. We will join AM and produce it to meet BC at a point and that point we know from the back calculation is our de desired point X. That means related to that point X we have DXA equal to XAC in area. Thank you everyone for watching this video. You can go to the link in the description for more videos like this and more learning content. I'll see you in the next one.